Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the uh, Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and in this short video, uh, I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to create a set of dummy variables uh, using uh, SPSS statistics. Uh, but more importantly, we're going to create a set of dummy variables by using the, I suppose, the function uh, within SPSS under the transform commands uh, that allows, to, allows us to create dummy variables automatically. Uh, we can actually create dummy variables, uh, I suppose, by actually coding things up ourselves. But what we're going to do is we're going to use this particular command here, which is create dummy variables, which is found under the transform uh, set of functions within SPSS. So what I'm going to concentrate on is I've got a categorical variable here called age, uh, age category, and there's three levels associated with that. If I go into variable view here, you can see here's my age category variable, and there's three levels. Let me maybe get rid of the decimals here. No decimals required. The levels is 1 represents 15 years up to 25 years, 2 represents 25 years up to 35 years of age, and 3 represents 25 plus years of age. Okay? And what I'd like to create is a set of dummy variables. They're variables that are dichotomous, uh, but more importantly, they're variables where uh, the variable represents you're either a member of one of these groups or you're not a member of, uh, of one of these groups, or you're a member of one of these categories or you're not a member. So I'd like to create a variable based off this, this variable age category, where it should create three variables for me. Uh, the first variable will tell me whether you're a member of the group 15 years up to 25 years, zero meaning you're not a member, one meaning you are a member of the group. The second variable that I hope to create uh, through the create dummies, uh, dummy variables is uh, whether you're a member of the 25 years up to 25 years category or you're not. Once again, zero meaning you're not a member, one meaning, meaning you're a member. And then the final dummy variable will be whether you're a member of the 25 plus years category, zero meaning you're a member, one meaning, sorry, zero meaning you're not a member and one meaning you are a member of that particular category. Dummy variables are very important when it comes to regression analysis uh, and in particular in relation to regression analysis and when you consider the Gauss-Markov assumptions uh, for regression analysis, one of the assumptions is uh, that the variables are either dichotomous or continuous. So when you have a categorical variable with more than two levels of measurement, in this case our age category has three levels of measurement, what's important is to create a set of dummy variables. Now in this example here, we're going to just create a whole set of dummy variables in regression, uh, just keep in mind the concept of multicollinearity. We would exclude one of the dummy variables because all other dummy variables, uh, scoring zero on all other dummy variables, would indicate membership of the final, the final category. But in this case, what we'll do is we'll just create all possible dummy variables. So I'm going to go to transform. I'm going to say create dummy variables. I'm going to use age category. Okay, that's the categorical variable I want to break into dummy variables. I'm going to bring that across into the field, in, into this particular field here, where into this list where we uh, list the variables whose, uh, that we want to create the dummy variables for. And let's just walk down through the, through the list here of options. Uh, the dummy variable labels uh, use, use value labels. Actually, I'm going to say to use the values and not the value labels. So what it's going to do is, I've no value labels here for these particular dummy variables, but I have values coded up. So I'm telling SPSS to use them values. Uh, the value order is ascending, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Uh, uh, I'm not using a macro, so I can ignore that here. Uh, measurement level usage, do not create dummies for scale variables. Well, look, we're using categorical variables here. Uh, so by default, it doesn't, uh, it's not allowing us to create dummies for, for scale variables or continuous variables. Uh, by default, this main effects dummy variables is on. And what we need to do is when it creates these dummy variables, it needs to, it's going to pre-append the value okay uh, with a name okay so it's asking us for the root name so maybe i'll just say this is age yeah okay because that's the name of the variable yeah so age is the name of the variable if we've got more than one dummy variable in here if more than one one variable to create dummy variables from like for example if i put id in here well then we'd have to list with a space the next uh, root as id okay so, but in this case, we're just going to concentrate on age and create dummy variables from age. Okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just hit OK. okay? I'm going to hit OK. Actually, let me just go back here. You see here under macros, it says uh, omit first dummy category from macro definitions. Okay? So I could use this if I just want to create the required number of dummy variables for a regression analysis. Don't forget, when you're creating a set of dummy variables for a regression analysis, 
you don't create all the dummy variables. It's it's a number of categories minus one is the required number of dummy variables. But in this case, I'll just create them all, so I'll, I'll leave that off. Oh, another thing to mention is that to use this particular to use this particular tool within SPSS, the Python Essentials plugin uh, must be enabled. Okay, uh, maybe I'll do a video on how to actually enable that uh, after this particular video. So, but that, that's all we have to do here is hit OK, and what this should do is this should create a set of dummy variables for me. Okay, so it's just giving us the output here. If I go back into SPSS, and if I look at my variables. You can actually see that what's also being created here is three variables, age one, age two, age one, age two, and age three. Uh, so age one means that you're a member, you're a member of, excuse me, age one indicates that you're a member of the 15 years up to 25 years category. Let's just go into our data view window, okay? and you can see that this person here, this, this particular case here is age 43. Their age category is three. And you can see that they've been scored zero on age one because they're not 15 to 25. They're scored zero on age two because they're not 25 to 35. In fact, they're greater than 25, they're 25 years plus. So they've scored one on the age three category. And it don't be variable. Okay? So you can see the way this, this, is actually, this is actually set this up. You will only ever be one you'll only ever score one on one of these three categories, never more than them. And that's the way dummy variables work. So actually, if I scored zero across all three categories, it means that I'm not a member of any of them categories and that I'm a member of some other category, which would be, I suppose, what's left over. Okay? But I mean, that's how you create a set of dummy variables within SPSS statistics. Uh, once again, guys, uh, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and I do hope that this video was uh, uh, helpful and more importantly, I hope that was intuitive. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye bye.